Many commentators have claimed LENR reactions can be mimicked by simple chemical events and one of the common chemicals which they claim could be used is thermite. Thermite is very energetic. Uh, the reaction produces something like four megajoules per gram. Um, I'm going to show you what happens when you ignite a little bit of what I call fast thermite. Fast thermite because it has been laced with a little bit of magnesium to aid in ignition. Um, it speeds the reaction up, but here it, I have uh, just about half a gram of thermite and we'll see what happens when I set fire to it. There, as you see, a very quick and energetic reaction and the stainless steel crucible it's in is ending up red hot. Now I've moved into the metal workshop and set up a few grams of <laughs> thermite in a little uh, metal dish and I think this might be interesting. interesting and in the dish I think there's probably a residue of molten iron it's a very quick reaction actually another claim we hear sometimes is that thermite can produce LENR effects by itself I want to show you a little experiment here this is uh, as you see obviously a Geiger counter which is hovering around the normal workshop background of mm, 20 CPM really. <laughs> Just despite me, it's peaking a little bit at the moment for no apparent reason. It does that sometimes. That's the nature of Geiger counters and the nature of radiation. It's a random event. But as you can see, the radiation counts dropping down. And on the left here is a very, very sensitive RF detector. You see, even detects my RF. And uh, if I was to bring that too near a power cable or something like that, it would go absolutely crazy. So I want to now ignite the thermite. It's more fast thermite. Ignite the thermite there, which is about half a gram, and see what it does to both the Geiger and the RF detector. The answer is not a lot. And now onto the next experiment, which is going to involve seeing what happens when you put LENR <laughs> material, which is not really LENR material, but thermite into a Model T reactor. Here you can see the beginning of the fast thermite experiment. It's quite clear that the temperature is the same in both ports again and in a moment I'm going to pull pull out the thermocouple in port 2 and put the thermite tube in there. I put a safety screen in the way this time because I suspect that it might go back. Just as I imagined, it went bang. And good job I had the safety shield. There's a few red hot bits of <laughs> tube there. So fast thermite is obviously not a good way to replicate LENR. <laughs>